back to another video on the finance value game now in today's video i'm going to be talking about a safe move prediction now before any of you that are used to my channel's content which is mainly dogecoin crypto videos just understand that this is a video that is informative i don't hold any safe moon i'm just trying to predict where the price will go based on technical analysis some fundamental factors and basically my general cryptocurrency knowledge so this is not me incentivizing you to buy or sell this is just telling you where i genuinely think the price will go and it's definitely pretty interesting so let's jump right in so as you guys can see right now i feel like safe moon is in a very very interesting place okay we had this insane run up here and then we had a huge sell-off period followed by a kind of v pattern where now along here it does seem that we are going down but a lot of people don't realize that what we're experiencing right now in safe moon is very very normal for any cryptocurrency and for all of the ones that i've seen go on a small bull run this what we're seeing right now is just a period of consolidation meaning that the price is basically consolidating to a solid base so right now there's not going to be major jumps major you know ups and downs it's just going to be like pushed sideways so right now where can we see safe moon going ahead me personally i can see safe moon actually going ahead in the next coming weeks and i'm going to explain why now me personally, I'm not holding any safe moon. I'm not telling you to buy. I'm just explaining to you why I think that safe moon is actually poised for an explosion. So the first reason is one reason that I do think safe moon is poised for an explosion is because one thing that I've been paying attention to during this bull run is different cryptocurrencies and how graphs look when things explode. So you have to understand, okay, that like when safe moon was around here, okay, nobody was really paying attention to this coin okay that's what you have to understand okay and now that we've had this you know pattern here this is something that i've seen okay this what we just saw i've seen this in many different crypto guys okay you have to understand that like here is like um like during this part right here it was kind of over a couple of days and during each one of these points there were many different you know levels at which people got in you know some people got in here some people got in here some people got in here of course the most profited here but you have to understand that right now okay i don't think it's a bad time to buy safe moon this is not um uh, what do you call it this is not you know saying this is not a buy signal i'm just saying that me personally i don't think it's a bad time to buy safe moon simply because right now we had a very stellar run-up guys now the run-up that we did have was absolutely insane guys you have to remember that anytime there's a huge run-up in a crypto guys it doesn't go straight up forever it doesn't do that okay it doesn't run up it does a small pullback and then it consolidates guys and the reason i know so much about this is because if we look at dogecoin and dogecoin is not the only cryptocurrency that i've looked at guys dogecoin has done this multiple times okay I remember, okay, when Dogecoin, when Dogecoin had its first run up, okay, here, okay, remember Dogecoin had its first run up, all right, and it was trending on Twitter, literally the exact same thing that happened to Safe Moon. It then had a period of consolidation, then it blew up once again, had another period of consolidation, then blew up again, and currently last week it had a period of consolidation where I was telling everyone, okay, it's having another period of consolidation before it could have another run up again, and it just had a small run up between some announcements. Now, why I'm bullish on Safe Moon? Well, as I always say, cryptocurrency isn't really documented or it isn't really influenced mainly by the technical analysis by things like volume and things like price although these things definitely do play a factor this isn't what drives the price of the cryptocurrency up and down okay you can't just look at a graph all day and say oh the price is going to go here and it's going to go here that, that of course if you know there isn't any news but news is what tends to influence the cryptocurrency markets so what kind of news is going to influence the, you know the price of safe moon that's going to push the price up in my honest opinion now before i give my opinion on this i just want to say that all of this information that i'm about to say is only based on if the bull run continues upwards by the bull run i mean the bitcoin bull run and other cryptocurrencies continuing to increase in price so the reason i think this is probably going to increase in price is because of course as you guys know um positive catalyst now understand guys that positive catalyst and positive information and being trending actually heavily influences the price now if safe moon were to announce for example that binance was something that just got released okay let's say they just announced their binance wallet what do you think what would happen to the price guys this would be probably trending on twitter and you would see the price increase and you would even see some people start to fomo in now i don't think Binance is happening just yet but what i do know is that this is very interesting so take a look at this google trends graph and look at this guys look at this okay so um let's pay attention to what exactly we have this is google trending now for those of you who don't know what google trending is google trending is basically something where you can see how much people are searching for a certain term so i've typed in safe moon and you guys can see exactly how often people have searched for this cryptocurrency over the past 90 days so if we look at the peak of this when is the peak okay the peak of people searching for safe moon is on april the 20th okay and you guys can see that before that it ran up for like three days now if we look back on the graph when people when the peak was okay the peak was april the 20th so we know that here the dates coincide guys meaning okay 
that once again, okay, it's information, it's it's FOMO, it's basically based on what people are searching and what people are looking for. So of course, Safe Moon right now isn't as popular as it was because it was trending. But okay, what I've seen happen in previous cryptos is that as these announcements are slowly slowing be, being rolled out, okay, so we've now got okay, Safe Moon that's gonna have an ask me anything tomorrow, allegedly. And also, what, we've, what have we been seeing with SafeMoon over the past couple of days? You've been seeing SafeMoon increase its holder base. 1.5 million holders just 16 hours ago. Absolutely insane, okay? You have to remember that this cryptocurrency is really, really new as well. And it's been growing very, very quickly. It's got 450,000 Twitter followers. Now, what is next, okay? And the reason I can't lie that say, that um, I do I am bullish on SafeMoon somewhat is because, guys, understand that Twitter followers is way better than Reddit because even though Reddit, okay, they only have 151,000. Okay, like if we look, they only have 151,000. The reason why Twitter is way, way better and the reason why SafeMoon, I know the developers are smart and I know the people behind this are really smart is because guys, if SafeMoon, you know, have this, you know, insane follower base, that you can get trending, okay? And when you get trending on the right-hand side, you get other people, okay, FOMOing into the coin. And when other people FOMO into the coin, they're gonna eventually become holders and eventually gonna push your price up. So this is really good. Now, what I also saw, I don't know if you guys saw this as well, but um, I also saw the Wolf of Wall Street actually tweet about Safe Moon. Now, this is pretty insane because this is probably the most notable investor that I've seen tweet about Safe Moon in, in a while, guys. Now. Of course, SafeMoon does have its influence, influences that, you know, I would say that they've definitely been paid to do. And I'm not hating on SafeMoon, but I'm just saying that most certainly these guys have been paid to, you know, promote. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having paid influences. It's just marketing, you know. All the best brands in the world pay, you know, like Nike, pay, pay millions of dollars to the best athletes. So, you know, SafeMoon just investing their money is very, very smart, which means I know that they know what they're doing. So as you guys can see, he tweeted, if you want a pump, um, SafeMoon, you know, he tweeted Doge, AMC, GME. I don't know if this is just bandwagoning, but at the end of the day, it just shows the attention that Safe Moon has. It does have the attention of pretty, pretty famous people. So um, the reason I'm also bullish is that Safe Moon is going to be listed on more exchange. Guys, you have to understand, okay? One of the most requested things on Safe Moon, okay, and the biggest thing inhibiting this coin from growing was the fact that it's not on many exchanges. But if we scroll down, you guys can see that Safe Moon is being bought on many new exchanges. You guys can see XMC Exchange trading Safe Moon. Another exchange has agreed. Okay, many different exchanges have been, you know, picking it up. It's only available on seven exchanges, guys, which is really, really early. And it's really, really small. So understand that the more exchanges we get, the more volume is going to increase. The more followers we have on Twitter, um, you know, the more chance we're going to have of going trending again and actually increasing the chances of another bull run. Now, the thing is, I do know that this next bull run, you have to understand that these bull runs just take off, guys. You're not going to see safe moon increase at 1% a day. That's not what cryptos do. Cryptos jump 20%, 50%, you know, quickly and people miss out. And what happens is most people get in right here, guys. Most people form a win at the last minute. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that, you know, looking at safe moon saying it's a scam and all that stuff. And I understand where that's coming from because me personally, I was skeptical at first. I'm still very skeptical. And I do want to say that until some of that foggy air clears because even some people that don't even know safe moon just say oh yeah it's a scam it's a ponzi scheme i think that once safe moon is allowed to prove itself if it does actually prove itself then you can probably see another wave of retail investors now to be honest um i looked at someone's reddit post and they were saying that um there were many different dates between um if i can find it there were many different dates between the periods of time where it consolidated now i think the first time was three then it was five um, then it was seven. So if I can find the actual post, guys, hey, what happens? But basically, guys, the point that we're trying to make is that Safe Moon has basically had different, different, and different many prices increases. Um, and the thing that's going to happen now is we're going to consolidate. But the only thing is, is that we don't know for how long. Now, of course, some people have lost money on the way here. Of course, they've lost quite a bit. But guys, I always say that when the price is consolidating, when it's finding a very, very support level, and when there's you know no more sellers, the price is only going to go up, which is definitely very interesting. Now, of course, something that people are mentioning is that the whales are actually starting to sell, which is causing the price to go down. Now, I personally don't know what the wallet distribution percentage is. Um, if there are some you know sorts of information that I could find, I'll update you guys. But of course, if whales are selling large amounts, of course, the price is going to go down. And understand, guys, please understand that that 
at times when this happens, okay, whales aren't going to sell all of their coins at once in any well and other cryptocurrency because if they do, they're going to create massive sell off, guys, and that's going to drive the price even down even more. And that's going to make the remaining coins even worthless. So, what whales do is they sell small, small, small amounts. So, as you guys can see, if a whale is selling, it does kind of make sense for the price because over time, the price just slowly goes down, not all at once, which isn't bad. And then when they stop, what we saw happen in other cryptocurrencies is we have kind of an explosion. Um, and especially if there's an announcement poised with that. So I would say that SafeMoon is definitely poised. I would say as long as the bull run continues because they have an insane community right now, the price is probably going to go up, guys, if history repeats itself. But if Bitcoin does sort of fall off and sort of crashes, then I wouldn't see any of the other cryptocurrencies going anywhere. But at the end of the day, it's speculation right now i would say within a week or two and i think i give it two weeks before this pops off again in my general opinion probably to a new all-time high if we we could actually have like a small 10 to 15 percent pop off um and then test the resistance which is you know going to be here which is going to be the highest you know point here and then i i i see if we break this we're definitely going to go way way higher so at the end of the day very very interesting very very good looking right